Hello everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Alright, so we've got a lot to do, including uh, building that bridge to get over to the witch's hut more easily in the future. So I took my picture, made ten nails, six uh, planks, and two of the blocky things. The um, beams. That's what we need. So... I need to get a lot of iron for that because we only have one nail or at least that's what the picture said we had we still have one nail okay we have five planks we needed six so that's most of them um, so that's nice but that's like also the least of our worries long term and we have two more nails Oh, we have t we have our wooden beams, so we just need um, seven more nails. Right? Because if we take the flitch and we take the plank. Then we should be able to make one more plank very, very easily. There. So now we just need seven more nails. That can't be that hard, right? Except we need more coal, so we're going to have to go get some. So our pickaxe is in good condition. Our axe is not. We should fix that up. And we should also go and double check everything we need, because I know we should upgrade our tools. Simple iron parts and iron bar. So we just need a lot of iron, as usual. Um, that always seems to be our thing. Okay. I don't know if I want to... Let's go. Let's go get the coal, because... Honestly, we have most of our energy. will probably take us most of the night to get there and back, so we just won't sleep tonight. It'll be fine. Going and getting the coal is just not that easy. And then once we've built the bridge, the swamp's going to be way less of a pain in the butt to traverse in the future. Which is why I don't want to forget about it. And I want to get it over with and uh, make sure it's all done. Alright, our one coal. Oh, this might actually be an iron vein. Yeah, I bet that is. So we don't have to keep finding iron. We have a reusable vein. Granted, it's far away and probably just as annoying as this one to get stuff out of. Granted, um, the better tools might make this faster or more energy efficient. Not really sure. But I'm okay with either one. And I like how much coal one of these gives us. We're just going to use up our energy. Um, I don't think we're going to get a second batch, but it'll make it easier when we do come back for more. Which is what we did last time, so if you've been watching the videos, you are familiar with this uh, strategy. We're going to be so close, it's going to be infuriating. Oh, it actually, we, we just had enough energy, literally, to the swing of the pickaxe. We had enough energy. So that'll get us several more iron bars. We still have um, several pieces of iron that we can smelt or forge or... I don't really know what, what smelting is. I know it's something that you do in blacksmithing, just not really sure what part it is. Alright. And the iron's done. Wonderful, now just, uh, can I, like, do that? Okay, it has 200 now. So yeah, let's just, that way we don't have to store so much coal. Just turn it all, because I don't think we have any other use for coal, at least not yet. You know, maybe we'll get one in the future, but we don't have one now. Alright, we have no energy. I guess we should sleep. It's night time. Yeah, 
I don't like how it slows down. But nothing we can do about it at the moment. Out we go. I didn't even start another iron bar because I'm a silly. Let's go. And then let's make nails. We keep saying we're going to upgrade our tools and then we never actually do it. So we need one more set of nails to have enough for the bridge. Um, I think after that we should try and upgrade our tools because we're going to need another whetstone soon. Honestly, um, for what we're going to spend our day doing, let's go buy another one from the blacksmith. He's in the village, so we're just going to make the very long trek over there. Since we're not going to do anything else today, we can do a little bit of running. Because it's going to take all day to get there and back. Like, we can't even run to the village without using up our whole energy bar. It seems a little broken. Just, just if you ask me. Um, so where, that's right. I was like, I know the blacksmith is over here somewhere. The question's where? Okay. So we want a whetstone. It's 10 silver. My goodness, that's most of what we've got. Okay. Yeah, he's got a cauldron if we get to tier 2, but we'd have to do a lot more for him. Alright. I didn't like having to do that. That was a lot of stuff. Do we have any quests from him? Where's the blacksmith? No, we don't. So we have no other way of increasing our... Uh, friendship with him at the moment. What am I supposed to be doing for you? He's got jewelry and grape seeds. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We got our new whetstone for when this one inevitably breaks. We've used up all of our energy. So now I just gotta get back to our house, go to sleep, make the nails, and then we can head to the swamp. We're gonna keep making iron bars though because we're gonna upgrade our tools, slowly but surely. Yes, I also want to expand our yard space, and yes, that takes iron as well, but <laughs> there's just so much to do in this game. There really is. It's amazing how much stuff they fit into the alpha version. It's definitely, you know, it's, it's not all polished and shiny just yet, but it could get there. It'll get there. Alright, let's go in here and just go to sleep. Today we're going to bed very early. Last night we stayed up late. Tonight, not so much. I wish I could do that in real life. Once I stay up late once, it's like my sleep schedule is off forever. It's unfixable. <laughs> Up and at him. Time to make some nails. And then we'll have extra nails too, because we only need one and we'll get six. Alright, now I just want to make sure that we're actually carrying everything. So we have two wooden beams, six planks, and ten nails. So we're headed into the swamp again. As we do. Honestly, as we do way too often. <laughs> I hate the swamp right now. I hate its maziness. But at least after this, it won't have to be so maze like. We also unlocked some technologies and stuff. I'm guessing they're in our tech tree before we can build them. Um, so we're going to need to look into that. So I think you did have to go up in order to get to the entrance of the swamp. Was I wrong? I always feel like, yeah, okay. I can never find the freaking entrance to the swamp. I think I'd learn where it is, but I have not. Well, 
Okay, it's here. No, that's where the bridge will be. That's still the entrance, though. That's right. So you can see here this path, and then we know that one dead ends, so we have to go this way. Alright. We'll figure it out. We'll get back there. I have lots of energy, so we're not going to go fishing, because that takes up about a million energy. I don't feel like this is right, but it has to be. There was only one... Really? Okay, I guess there's more than one path. This one just leads to iron, which is, like, fine and all. I'll, I'll use it eventually, but I don't want to waste energy and not be able to complete the bridge. Okay, it must be this way. This feels right. I didn't remember the path get to the witch's house doubling back. So I was like, that would be strange if it did. Because I know it was a couple episodes ago that we came here. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just last episode. It's been a couple days since I've recorded this game. I've been recording Kitty Powers recently. For those who follow uh, more than just Graveyard Keeper on my channel, that's my other main game at the moment. So, we're back to this for the first time in a few days, but I took that picture so I wouldn't forget what we needed for the bridge, because that would have been bad. Alright, we've made it back, yay! I really hope I have enough energy. It looks like it's just going to be time consuming, it doesn't take much energy each time I swing, so that's good. There we go. I mean, I guess I'll take the iron. We know we're gonna need it eventually. So, I don't remember if there was something I was supposed to um, talk to her about. We're supposed to be finding a cauldron. Now I don't remember what exactly we're supposed to be doing. I'll take this iron too while I'm here. We've got much simpler... Oh no. Of course it has. Alright, back home we go then. We've got a much simpler path to her house now. So a lot of the last few episodes have just been us simplifying our lives. We now have a shortcut to the church. We've got... Um, obviously we have the underground which there's the dungeons in. I don't think we can make a better sword, although that's probably necessary at some point for the dungeons. It would be to make a better sword. Okay, give me this. And get started on the next one. We're gonna go to sleep, regain our energy. So, we'll have to choose which tool we want to upgrade first. Maybe the pickaxe, because it's broken. And if we upgrade it, then we don't have to uh, deal with it as quickly, but... So we just need some simple iron parts and we can make one. So yeah. Let's just say we're gonna do the pickaxe. We can't make a sword. I'm gonna put the new whetstone in there. Put the ash in here and put the iron in here. And we should store the nails as well. I don't think we need to carry them around really. We should probably go store the, uh, story down here. Although I did want to check what the recipe for the, like, prayers are, because that's where you use the stories. You get three stories, and that lets you make a chapter. Um, you need clean paper, pen, and ink, and a story. That's how you make notes. Three notes lets you make a chapter. And 
I don't have a pen and ink. Because I don't have three pens. That's right, we need to see the uh, astrologer, which we can do tomorrow to work on that. So we can actually hopefully start using our stories soon if I can remember to go all the way across time and space to the other side of the map. Alright. Make more! Because <laughs> we need to expand our yard space soon. We're nearly out of space. So we need some simple iron parts. Then we can go ahead and make the pickaxe. So we're getting our first upgraded tool, guys. It's been how many days? <laughs> I'm finally doing this. Alright, we've got pickaxe level 1. Um, so I'd like to upgrade preferably all my tools, but it will take a while. But look how much shinier it looks. Alright. So is it in here what we've unlocked? These really allow you to have nice graves. Candelabra 2 might be useful. Uh, prayer for donations. Prayer for repentance. We can make stories if we get this. We can make these if we get that. But where would alchemy be? I thought it might be under theology, but... Oh, sorry. Totally under anatomy and alchemy. Silly me. An alchemy rack. Um, embalming. And then embalming table, mortuary rack, prayer for repose. Alchemy workbench tier 2, distillation cube. So we do have alchemy as an option for us. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to go down that avenue just yet. Oh, we can brew stuff. Um, but, you know, eventually we probably will. Make some time. You always find a way to make some extra nails. I mean, that might be helpful. You know how to use an axe, chopping a small tree can give you an additional log, make more fat wood and wedges from, wedges from log chunks. So there seem to be things like that all around that just make our work more efficient. Um, and efficiency, I mean, I am all about efficiency. Cause I'm not sure there's any point to the alchemy rack if we're not going to go down that path for a while. Ceremonies give you extra money. I mean, we have a lot of blue points. Let's do the price of faith right now. I I could use some extra money. Uh, we have candelabra one. Maybe candelabra two isn't such a pain to make, but it probably is. Um, these things usually are. So let's make another one of you. And let's make some more simple iron parts. And hopefully in the morning we'll be able to make a second tool. Granted, how do we feel about expanding our yard space? Do we feel the need to do it immediately? Oh, it's the ten complex iron parts. The rest are easy. So we get like three? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. I mean, we do need to expand our yard space. That much I know. But, uh, I don't know if we need to do it yet. We're not building anything yet, so I mean. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, you guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Piggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.